Hey, what's up guys? Vesper here. It's time for our Day 1 Rose Tips and Tricks video. I hope you guys are enjoying the character as much as I am. Let's get started right away here. Rose's go-to anti-airs are Crouching Heavy Punch and Soulbind. EX Soulbind does excellent damage, but Heavy Soulbind has superior range. EX Soul Spiral is hit and projectile invincible. This means you can use it against fireballs or against pressure. This means you can use it as a reversal. But just keep in mind it is not throw invincible. EX Soul Spiral could be also useful as a really quick invincible anti-air as well. Just don't throw it out like crazy because it's minus 26 on block. It's so minus that the opponent can literally dash in on you and do a full combo so be careful. All strengths of Soul Spiral are minus 10 on block, and even though that's a lot, you can easily space this against a lot of characters without getting punished. You can even use them as a space trap. Soul Punish automatically detonates from enemy projectiles. This is really important when you're against other zoners because it stops them from throwing fireballs back at you. EX Soul Punish is extremely plus on block. Soul Plus, it gives you a free dash in. So you definitely want to use this for pressure. You can link after Rose's slide at max range. You can even be up to plus 5. Rose's standing medium kick is throw invincible. This is the main tool you use to open players up. Standing medium kick on counter hit is plus 5, so you can even combo afterwards if you catch a delay tech and are pressing a button. Rose's back hard kick is airborne, so we can go over a lot of things, including normals and low projectiles. Just be careful throwing this out though, because it's minus 4 on block, making this really easily punishable. Also be careful with Rose's standing heavy punch, it's got a huge lingering hurt box. Also easily whip punishable. You better be careful with Rose's forward hard kick as well, because the opponent can crouch it. So they can easily whip punish it with a crouching attack. Rose's Crouching Medium Kick and Standing Heavy Punch are both easily one-hit confirmable and they're great normals too, so make sure you guys abuse this. Just set the guard to random so you can practice it yourself. Alright, let's talk about Rose's V-Skills now. So tips for Rose V-Skill 1 is that you can just spam this thing to gain really fast V-Gauge. You could also be buffed and the opponent could be debuffed at the exact same time. If you ever get the white card, it's better to just use it once than try and charge in it. Because when you use it once, you actually gain a lot of V-Gauge for it and it cycles the card anyways. For just a little bit more time than just cycling it and gaining no V-Gauge. When you have a debuff card, the opponent can't block it. But if he does get hit by it, it causes hit stun and it gives you bonus V-Gauge. If the opponent blocks your debuff card you'll actually gain less V-Gauge for it, even though it's unblockable. If the opponent jumps and avoids the card entirely, you'll gain no V-Gauge. Alright, tips for Rose's V-Scale 2 now, her soul satellite. So, this requires a little finesse because it doesn't matter where the orb is at the time when Rose does an attack. If you time it incorrectly, you can do a slide and you can end up being punished anyways because the soul satellite is not rotating at the right time. So the perfect timing that I found for this when you're going to do an advance and attack is to wait for the orb to be a little bit past 6 o'clock. Just visualize the orb being below rows, rotating past her. That is usually the perfect time uh, to do your forward moving attacks. You can use this to make slide safe, of course, and combo after. You can use this to make your back hard kick safe with the same, same exact timing. And you can even use this to make your slide safe around the same timing. And I'll show Akuma just mashing his jab, just so you can see that if they try punishing it, they'll end up getting hit anyways.
When you summon two orbs with Rose's Soul Satellite, they move faster and they're always going in the exact same pattern, so keep this in mind. Also, when you crouch with Rose, the orbs are float way high above your head, so the opponent can easily jump into them if you're crouching. And that's a wrap guys for a Rose Tips and Tricks video. If you found this guide helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And of course guys, leave a comment below if you guys have any tips yourselves that you guys like to share with everybody. And look forward to some Rose guides for her V-Trigger in the future as well. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified for that. Alright guys, this is Vesper, taking off. See you guys. Peace out.